Good evening, everyone. It's your host, Linnea Batiste, again tonight for another one of our People of Lake Nona broadcasts. And every Monday, we feature a special person that's right here in your neighborhood. And tonight, we have Blake Broadhurst. And I don't know if you've seen him. If you watch the Titan Games on NBC, you would have seen him last night. He's amazing, and he's going to tell us about his entire journey getting to the Games and also why he loves living here in Lake Nona. But before we get to him, take a look at this video. Making the cut for season one, I set up a big workout center in my garage. I actually call it the vault. Inside the vault, I have multiple stations, treadmill, box jumps, weights, everything I could possibly think of that would relate with the Titan Games. Yeah! My daughter, Claire, basically, she's my trainer. Back. It's actually motivating because I don't want to let her down. And I want her to see how hard I'm working. I want to translate to what she does in her life. Having an opportunity in season two is beyond amazing. It's, it's actually mind blowing for me right now. This is a dream come true. My family means the world to me. I want to be a Titan to show my wife, my daughter, and my son, Brayden, it's important to push yourself and to do the best you possibly can always. That is amazing. Welcome, Blake, to here to Lake Nona Social. How are you doing this evening? I am doing fantastic. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you for being here. Again, this is our People of Lake Nona show that we come to you every Monday. We highlight someone different. And this is uh, sponsored by Your Motors, our great sponsor right here at Lake Nona. So, Blake, let's talk about it. Just last week, you were featured on Titan Games. And I know that you um, have an extensive background in law enforcement and health and fitness. Let's talk about what inspired you to try out. Tell us about the whole process. Well, I've been competitive my whole life. I've always been involved in uh, football, wrestling, track. And then um, as I became an adult and I got into a professional career in law enforcement, um, I never got a chance to get back to that competitive nature. So uh, I was actually coming back home uh, from a shift and my wife is Lindsay. She's waiting at the door for me and um, She has her Instagram up and she's standing at the door and she's showing me she goes this right here And I'm looking at her because I'm not an Instagram person and it's a picture of a rock She goes press play. So as soon as I start playing the, the video It's a uh, call to arms by Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Yeah, and he's sitting there just just looking massive being and all the muscles and the charisma he has and I'm of a course. big fan. Yes, and, and I'm a big fan of his so as soon as I press the play button, uh, he calls all the common um, professional men and women out there that are raising families that are working uh, normal professional jobs uh, and said, if you're a competitor and you want to trust yourself and uh, compete at the highest level, um, put in for my games. And it was the Titan Games. And when he said that, I got this like the hair on my arm stood up on my back. I got excited. I got motivated. This is after a 12 hour shift. So I was like, wow, I'm so hot you sweating. Knew this was for you. This is yes. for you. <laughs> right at the bat. So when I heard it, my blood started flowing. I actually got in the gym and started working out because I had so much energy left from it. So that's how, how I got uh, into the Titan Games. Well, kudos to your wife for uh, looking it up and showing it to you because clearly you were meant to be on the show. Talk about, like, how did it feel to be with The Rock? Like, he's hosting the show, he's there. We know about his personality like on the camera from movies, but how was your experience with him? So prior prior to being there, I am I'm a law enforcement officer um, and I love his uh, Fast and Furious movies. So like yeah. his character Hobbs, um, he's such a cool guy. So I always think in my own head, I'm like, oh, I'm, uh, I'm the real life Hobbs. <laughs> so I was like, man, I can't wait to meet this guy. I love his yeah. personality is larger than life. So when I got the opportunity to meet him face to face, person to person, even before that, um, one thing kind of struck out to me and it was his humility and his warmness. Really? Uh, okay. So it was, it was really cool to actually sit there and look him straight in the eye and smile at him. And before I even looked at him, he's walking straight towards me with this big smile, this contagious smile on his face. So when we first interacted, all I can think of is, oh my gosh, that's that's Hobbs. He's walking towards me. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. So talk about preparing for the Titan game. So we uh, just showed you all a video of him working out and you said, you know, you transformed a place in your house. So talk about like just training for that because you probably were already in somewhat shape before going into the game. So just talk about your process. 
Uh, yes, ma'am. As a, as a law enforcement officer, I'm always staying in shape. I'm always uh, perfecting my craft. So I'm, oh, I'm already in shape. I'm already c competitive, ready. But what I ended up doing is uh, I started, uh, this is what I do as a police officer too, um, I researched. I started researching season one. I started looking at the athletes. I started seeing how they were performing, what type of athletes they are. And I started breaking them down by category. So I'll okay. get the challenge. I'll time how long the challenge takes, and then I'll take each task that was in the challenge, and I'll recreate it. Wow. So I, That's amazing. Well, someone just called you a real-life Superman. Uh, Blake is our real-life <laughs> Superman team, Broadhurst, all the way. So, I mean, I guess people already know. I mean, I've seen the video is, as well, and I agree with him. <laughs> Oh, thank <laughs> that you. you are. So also let's talk about just what you do on your everyday in your everyday life, because I think it's really cool that not only are you a law enforcement officer, but you're a canine officer. So talk about that. And how did you transition to um, being a canine officer? And is this something that you love to do? It's amazing. The weird. Uh, I've been a law enforcement officer for about 13 years. Uh, I'm a former SWAT uh, operator. Uh, I did that for the first six years of a uh, field trainer. So I trained all the new people coming in. Uh, men and women coming into law enforcement. Uh, but about six years ago, I got the opportunity uh, to try out for the canine unit. And to tell you the truth, everybody's like, oh, you must love dogs. You must be the biggest dog fan. And uh, I'm actually not an animal person as far as like really? two or three dogs. <laughs> I love them. They're cute. Uh, but what really drew me to this is I get to go out there and serve my community, protect my community, my family that's out there um, by locating um, subjects that flee from law enforcement, they commit yeah. bad crimes. So that kind of got me there. But once I got onto the canine unit and I got my partner champion, uh, mm -hmm. things completely flipped. I was like, wow, I have a animal version of me who's excited <laughs> to come to work, who loves yeah. people and who will work his heart out um, to the end. And that's just one thing that uh, just really pulled me to the canine world. It's a lot of training and it's a lot of trust in your partner. Someone else, uh, Michelle Finch just said, Blake is the real deal. What do you say to that? <laughs> That's my sister-in-law and I love her to death and she's like one of my biggest fans. Yeah, so, you have uh, to love family coming in and supporting and they know you best, so that's amazing. And someone yeah. else says, love it, uh, keep pushing, thanks for representing us all. And someone else said also, thank you for serving the community. I think that's really important to point out here that Blake also serves the community um, as a canine officer. But again, for all those that are joining us, this is our People of Lake Nona special. We come to you every Monday night. And tonight we are highlighting Blake. This is a um, broadcast that is uh, sponsored by Euro Motors. And so Blake Broadhurst, if you looked at the Titan Kings on NBC last Monday night, you would have seen him. And I think this is also like, let's talk about your perseverance because before we got on, you said that you tried out for the first season and you got to like the last 100 people. So talk about your process of the first season and then what helped you make it this time around for the second season this year. So the first season uh, was a lot like the second season as far as uh, preparing and trying out. So basically there's tens of uh, thousands of people that have put these uh, videos together showing uh, their athleticism, showing their life, telling their story. And then you send it in to, um, into the NBC and they go through these and pick each contestant and uh, invite you to a combine. So the first season um, I was almost, I guess you, the best word would uh, to use would be obsessed because I was like, I want to do this. So I spent every day making these videos, going out there, doing dog training and spending time with my kids and working out with them. And I sent in this video and okay. uh, they picked me in the top hundred out of tens of thousands of people to go to Los Angeles. So when you go to Los Angeles, they, uh, they put you in these competitors. And when I walk in, I felt completely inadequate. Um, these people were just men and women were ripped muscles, very good looking people, professional people. Uh, I was humbled being there. Uh, so I was a little intimidated that first time. Uh, but once we walked into the, uh, the uh, filming area and we did our combine, yeah. uh, I rose, rose to the occasion. Uh, I was me and that's the best thing about it. Yeah. Uh, in the end though, I didn't make the cut for the top 30 for the first season. So when they called me and said, hey, Blake, you did a fantastic job, but we're going with uh, these other competitors. Okay. Keep it up. Get ready for season two. And uh, I took about a day off. I was a little, <laughs> a little frustrated, um, but I took a day off. And the next day, you can ask my wife, I was in the garage tinkering 
uh, looking at different things I could do to show how uh, hard I was working, to show people who I was and what I'm doing out there. Um, so I grinded for about another year and I started watching season one competitors and that kept me going. And you're like, I could do this. I yes. could be there next year. And look at you now. Um, Travis Clapton. Oh, well, I'm going to wait for it. came back up. I know Blake since I've known Blake since college. I haven't seen Blake in years and haven't, he hasn't changed a bit. Such a true man of faith. I knew he would be great in life. <laughs> what do you want to say to Travis? I love you, brother, man. It's, uh, it's been a long time since I've seen you, but, uh, if it wasn't so dark in here, you see the blushing of humility that I'm getting <laughs> because I'm just, I'm just honored that people would say that stuff about me. Yeah, so many people are just saying thank you for serving the community and um, saying you're a real life hero. And I think that that's one thing that I'm liking about this show and liking about your story as well, just your perseverance. But also you are in the community and you live right here in Lake Nona. How long have you been living here in Lake Nona? I've been living here, uh, I want to say 10 years, wow. 10 years now, about a decade. So yeah. you've been here when the cows were here. It wasn't as developed yes. <laughs> as it is now. <laughs> but it wasn't so metropolis like, yes, I was there. Yeah. So talk about what is your favorite part of like Nona, your favorite restaurant for you and your wife to visit together? You know, and it's kind of off key, but uh, growing up, I'm kind of old school. So okay. I always watched like Family Matters, Cosby, um, uh, Full House were some of the shows that I always liked and grew up. So when I was growing up, I said, man, I really would like to raise a family in those type of environments that you see on TV. Yeah. yeah. Um, so when I came out to be a part of law enforcement in Central Florida, uh, we were looking around and we went to Lake Nona and I was like, man, look at all the people walking around playing basketball, soccer for the kids. Yes. Um, people jogging. There's so much life and the communities are beautiful. The people are amazing. Uh, I was like, I want to raise a family here. So uh, we love going out to the uh, Boxy Park. Yes. Um, <laughs> Me and my daughter actually have cappuccinos at uh, Fox State. Yes. My um, daughter likes going out there too, but she's young. So she still likes going to like the little playground area. Playground. That, was, yeah. that was her thing before COVID. So hopefully we could get her back out there because we were always there because Lake Nona is such a family oriented place. place. That's the best we have place. families like you. So before we keep going, we're going to talk to you more about your time on Titan Games, but we have a message from our sponsor. <laughs> So for everyone that's joining us, I'm Linnea Batiste, your host tonight. This is People of Lake Nona. And tonight we have Blake Broadhurst, and he was just featured on Titan Games on NBC last Monday. If you haven't seen it, you'll be able to check it out tonight. But it's a serious competition, and this guy made it on. So again, let's talk about your process for everyone that's just joining us. How was it like actually filming the show and being on the Titan Games? Talk about it. Well, I've never been on any kind of like television show or anything like that. So uh, the first week that we got there, um, what we focused on is they focused on developing our story. So we did a lot of uh, uh, video shots of uh, of us. And like for me, it would be in a uniform. Yeah. Or, uh, whatever pertains to your life for your job or your story. And uh, then they sat us down and we spent hours just uh, doing interviews and talking about our lives and talking about things that have changed us and challenged us. So that was the first week, uh, and I got to see how cool it is to uh, have a whole studio watching you while you're doing push-ups, yeah. <laughs> heavy weights, and stuff like that. Um, I think the best part of it was they were like, "Blake, be you. You know, you gotta show some muscle." And uh, I've always been crazy <laughs> to be humble, so they're like, "All right, come out and show some guns." And That's not the time to be humble. That is the time to brag and do what you do. But yeah, I understand. You're a police officer, yeah. so of course, you know, you're there to serve. So it probably was like trying to get out of that space for a moment. It was a little bit out of my box, but uh, yeah. <laughs> that was the first week. The second week, um, for me, it was a lot, a little more focused. So it's a little nerve wracking. Uh, they yeah. give you very little um, information of what's going to go happen. So uh, what they ended up doing is they gave us the dates of uh, our show and when we're going to be competing. Okay. And, um, they let you know, hey, your family's going to be backstage. They're going to be watching you. And um, they'll call us up and they go, hey, you got 15 minutes. This is going to be an event. You can see it. You can look at it. Yeah. But you're going live in 15 and you have these cameras following you everywhere you're going. So it's kind of awkward for me because yeah, it's like a reality a law enforcement <laughs> officer as a canine guy, a SWAT guy. 
I've always been taught to stay calm, stay focused, go in your zone, get ready for what you're doing. So every time I stretch in, I'm going around, I'm jogging around. I have a camera going. Right <laughs> in your face. So I'm trying to look cool, but like stay composed. And so it was a little bit nerve wracking for me. Was there one part that uh, of, of the games that like was the most difficult for you when you were on the show? I think the most difficult part of the games would be the fact is I'm I'm someone who prepares. So yeah. I like to know what I'm going into. I like to be prepared for it. Like I said, when I trained, I recreated the whole uh, challenge. Then I put my headphones in and I pressed the play button and I would go play for play with the person. Oh, that was wow. In the That's amazing. So when I went out there, they go, hey, you got two minutes to figure out what you're going to do and how, you, how you're going to do it. It's kind of nerve wracking for me because I was like, man, I didn't prepare for this. How am I going to be ready yeah. to perform? So that was a little tough. Yeah. So what does your family think now? Because I, I I know that your wife suggested that you try out for the show. So after they've seen you on there and they were there for uh, with you to support you during the film process, how are they feeling right now? My daughter, she's she's a diva. So she's like, she was actually uh, set I up love with, it. with me and she's like, dad, I'll do the interview for you. And I was like, well, you can do that. Come on. <laughs> Um, she's super excited. She actually comes to the gym with me more now than before. She's your trainer. I remember she's my trainer. Name. <laughs> she uh, she keeps me she keeps me grounded. But my wife, um, my wife's amazing. I, if you're watching right now, I know you are. Um, I love you. You're amazing. I wouldn't be half as successful if I did not oh, have man. her by my side, uh, kind of, kind of keeping me grounded in um, yeah. the right direction. But she's proud. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, someone else just wrote in, one of the most competitive and humble humans I know. I loved watching you get pumped on the show. Proud of you, brother, a true warrior. This is Orlando. I'm gonna wanna say his last name wrong, for say. Fressy. Uh, Fressy, okay. Orlando. I added, added a little curve at the end. Yeah, so Orlando is there pumping you up. Everyone is um, you, really brother. just talking about how great you are. What do you like? What would you like to say to everyone? I guess the thing I would like to say is uh, I'll make you guys proud. Um, everything that you see there is 110% me. Uh, that's my personality. That's my life. Uh, none of it's changed or uh, fabricated. Uh, I work hard. I love my family. I love you guys. Um, I am blessed to protect and serve this community. I wouldn't have any other way. So let's talk about your average day when you wake up and you have to go um, go to work. You are a canine officer as well. So can you just kind of take us through your day? Um, I think that, I mean, it's exciting. You've been on the Titan games, of course, but I think it's also exciting that you're a canine officer. I am a dog person. So to be able to walk, work with a dog every day would be amazing. <laughs> so just talk about how does that, um, how, what is your day comprised of? So basically, as soon as I wake up in the morning, it's uh, about four o'clock-ish. Okay. Um, I have a hard time sleeping anyway, because I'm always, my mind's always moving. Yeah. Uh, before I am, I hit the uh, vault, which is my little gym in here. Yeah. I uh, do a lot of running, a lot of cardio, a lot of uh, martial arts. Uh, by five o'clock, I'm up, get the dog up and running. Uh, we get in the car, and by, give or take, 5.30, we're in the city. And while we're in the city and where I work, I probably do three or four hours of training with him. Uh, the training consists of uh, finding guys uh, in an area, finding bad guys in an area, or decoys, or tracking or decoys or yeah. just basic obedience where I have him going between my legs or um, yeah. playing fetch with him. So it is, it's like taking your best friend slash kid to work. That's um, amazing. Today. And his name is Champion, right? His name is Champion. He's actually yeah. um, named after the people's champion, The Rock. So kind of. That's like full circle, right? It so is. On the Titans game, <laughs> on Titan games that was hosted by The Rock and your dog champion. That's amazing. And again, for everyone that's just joining us, this is People of Lake Nona. This is Blake Broadhurst. He was on Titan Games last Monday. He is one of our Lake Nona people, uh, people of Lake Nona that we're featuring. Before we go, just please talk about why do you love living in Lake Nona and what do you want to say to the people of Lake Nona watching right now? I love living in Lake Nona because it's family oriented. Uh, when I come home, I feel at home. I feel at ease. I feel at peace. And uh, when we go out to the Boxy Park or we go out to the uh, water park, wherever we go, uh, it's a good feeling to know that I'm safe, that I'm raising my kids in a great environment with great neighbors and uh, in a beautiful community with so many professional, uh, caring people that are around. 
uh, what I like to say to our community. Um, love you guys. It's the love that I have for my community yeah. is one that I would say that Champ has for me. I'm here to serve you guys. I'm here to protect you guys. I'm part of a wonderful department who does a great job of uh, taking care of our citizens. And uh, we're here for you in the long run for make, to make sure you guys are protected and safe and that you guys enjoy the freedoms of living great communities. Awesome. And of course, we appreciate your service. We appreciate you speaking with us tonight. For everyone, if you missed last our last week's episode that featured Blake, you can go online to NBC. You can check out the episodes. Go on there, click, make sure he gets those ratings, support him. Um, also support our officers, support Blake. And, um, and whenever you have a moment, you see him and champion, say hello and uh, just, just show them all the great love. Again, thank you so much for coming, Blake. Can I uh, say hi to Orlando, Meg? You Yes. Uh, Travis, thank you guys. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Lindsay, you're amazing. I love you to death. Claire, you are a beyond amazing. Love you, girl. And my little boy, Brayden. Claire, the trainer. That's what I, trainer. I get. I love Claire because <laughs> Claire is after my own heart. She's a diva and I love it. It's so awesome. before we go, thank you again, everyone. Make sure you tune in next Monday for our next People of Lake Nona. Before we go, here's another message from our sponsor. Have a great night. Thank you.